Hey everybody, so I got a new car fridge. Now this one will run on either 120 or 12 volt. You get both cords. Now I've tested different wattages with different ways of plugging it in because it does use a different amount for each one. And I'll explain that here in a second. Now it just fired up. If it's catching it, you'll hear that it's actually not very loud. Uh, also right now it's on freezer mode. This one will do either freezer or refrigerator. And uh, my plan with this one is to use it as a freezer whenever I go camping and stuff and then use a regular ice chest for anything that needs to stay cold. This for anything that needs to be frozen, meats, whatever it might be. That way things will stay better longer. I think the only thing that really bugs me is like this color of the black, it just gets fingerprints very easily. Uh, but let me go ahead and show you the interface here. Super easy to use. It's gonna be pretty much you got your freezer or your fridge and you'll just set the temperature. Uh, your power on off here, set. You got eco and you got HH. Now HH is pretty much high cooling pretty much. And uh, what it will do is it will cool it a lot faster if you got the HH. Then if you got it in the eco mode, it's just going to be more efficient. But if you use the HH, it's gonna cool off much faster. Now for the temperature, I mean, all you gotta do is this, and uh, it will go all the way down to negative four. I've been running it at about two, and it's freezing things solid. I'll show you that here in a moment. But you can just raise it all the way up. Uh, it just kicked off. Now it's gonna turn over to refrigerator as it's getting up to these higher temperatures. But let me go ahead and open it and I'll show you where I did freeze something. Uh, I got this giant cucumber from my garden that I decided to just throw in here and freeze. But uh, I mean, it's, it's solid rock. I mean, it, it froze really well. You can see a little bit of ice on the sides here. Uh, not much, but there is a little bit of frost accumulated. And uh, I mean, just all around, this whole thing is frozen cold. It almost looks like you can get a little add-on to put here. I don't know if it's like a, maybe like a little bar or something. You could put little things up here just to kind of keep them up. I'm not sure exactly. And uh, also it will show you what the temperature is inside. As you can see, it's starting to warm up a little bit. It's now showing at 11 because I'm letting all the cold air out. Also, this does have like a, I'm not sure if it's a magnet. It feels like a magnet in there. Uh, but it kind of clamps down a little bit when it hits. So it does get a little bit more of a seal and you'll see that there is a seal up in there as well that kind of gets in that little lip here. Now, like I mentioned, it does come with both cords. Right now it's plugged into the household and uh, you do have the 12 volt adapter as well for in your car and uh, you just plug it in, you're good to go. Now, what I would recommend is to chill this down in your house first and then and put, you know, put everything in there already chilled, rather it's gonna be frozen or refrigerated, and then take it out to your car or whatever it might be. Same thing if you're gonna use a power station. All right, so as for the wattage used on this, when this is plugged into the wall, this is averaging between like 37 and 40 watts of usage while it's on. Uh, when it's plugged into like a power station, it's gonna depend on how it is. When you plug it in with like the household, the 120, it actually draws about 60 watts. And I think that's part because of the, like the inverter and everything. And so it's needing a little bit more. But if I plug it into like the, the cigarette lighter port, it's only using like 30 watts at that point. And uh, at least when it's running, it will say I have 18 hours of usage. So you could easily get a couple days using a large enough power station. And your usage is also gonna vary depending on your temperatures outside, uh, your power stations, your what you're using it for, fridge or freezer. But if you're looking for a pretty decent 12 volt or 120 volt car fridge, I really like this one. This is the second one that I have owned. And uh, this one's a little bit smaller, but it's a lot lighter. It works really well. It cools off really fast, but these are great pretty much wherever you can plug it in. So if you like to travel a lot, I definitely recommend one of these. I wish I had one of these when I used to drive a truck around country. But anyway, hopefully this gives you an idea what to expect with this one. And thank you for watching.